What's up YouTube? I figured I'd go ahead and make a video. Um, I've been making a lot of videos, but my uh, the uh, thing I was uploading them with uh, wasn't letting me upload them. So I'm going to try Windows Movie Maker or whatever it is and see if I can upload it to YouTube. Alright, well this is my new and improved DIY stand. Um, basically, I don't know why it's not, why it's off blurry. Basically, you got two 20s you can put on there. Um, if you check out my previous videos, that way, I think is where the subscription thing is. Um, I made one, uh, DIY double stand, and it worked fine, but the biggest issue I had was whenever I was cleaning the tank, I wasn't getting enough suction power, you know, I wasn't draining fast enough, and I don't think it was picking up enough poo. And it's it's it wasn't that big of a deal because I was breeding uh, angelfish, and the babies, you know, like I mean, I clean their tank a lot, so I mean, it was working pretty well for that tank. So here's the uh, new tank, and I'll run you through how I built it and the materials I used. I use technically four pieces of two by four, and why I say technically is because I use scraps from my other one, and I thought. My original plans was a little bit different, so I mean I'm I'm all right with this one. I just kind of started building and realized I messed up, and I went with it. But anyways, you're gonna need some screws, um, two inch screws. Um, I bought a pound of them at Lowe's or Home Depot. I don't remember. It was like eight dollars, so you'll have extra screws. I mean you don't need that much, but I would prefer to have more than not enough. All right, basically you start from the bottom. And this right here, I'm trying to get it focused without it messing up. This right here is a little section, and this measures out to measure the aquarium. And I gave it about an inch. I mean, it's snug in there. And I use this, these little right here. These are five inches. I, I got four of those, and then there's another one in the corner. And then what I did so that let's say you know these little five inch things you know can't support it. I put this right here, so and I put this to this, so I hooked this up to here, so I'd give it a little bit more, and then I put this right here in the center, and I mean it's fine. Um, I can give you the exact measurements, but I don't know where my tape measure is to be honest. And then this right here, I measured to be 28. Um, I would recommend go a little bit higher. I'm fine, like this doesn't hit right here, um, but you know, you still have room to get in there and stuff. I mean, I would just recommend a little bit more. And then these are 28s all around. And then I did the same thing I did down here. You know, this would be the, this would be here. This would be here. And then I got these, which is right here. So I did this to hold it. And I weigh about 150 pounds. And my girlfriend weighs like 90 pounds. Actually, I'm not really sure. But, you know, we both sat on top of this and it held the spine. It didn't move. So there was no issues as far as that's concerned. So, I mean, you got to think about it. Uh, for every gallon is 8 pounds, I think it is. So, I mean, you know, 20 times 8 is 160, right? Someone correct me on the math. I mean, if I'm wrong. So, basically, this is it. So, and I did all screws. I put three screws right here. Um... I didn't put any right here, but I put them in here. Ow, my head. I put them in here. So, and I put these in here. So, and I put this coming down. I probably should put another one here and another one here. I was just afraid of the board cracking. So, questions, comments, uh, feel free. I mean, this is it right here. It's going to cost you, I don't know, what's a 2 by 4 cost? 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 8, $16 to build this stand. So, I mean... Obviously, if you know you want to make it into a nicer stand, you would get like plywood right here and some doors right here, and you know put some doors on it and some trim right here. You know maybe some trim down here too, to make it look nicer. And it'll cost you a little bit more, but I mean it's a lot better than buying a cheap plastic thing at like you know Petco or PetSmart for a hundred something dollars. So this is a double stand. Um, I painted my aquarium black. I just used acrylic from the uh, art department. Um, price of that went up. Everything's going up. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the 20 gallon so you see how much space I got. Uh, this is 28, by the way. This, These pieces right here. This is a little bit uh, bigger, but it has to be bigger than this one. 
So, I mean, you build this first, this whole little thing right here, this, 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 you know, you build this little thing, and I stood on it, and, I mean, it didn't move, and then I built this onto this. So, I mean, it was pretty easy to construct. Um, I mean, that's really as basic as I can get. So, I'm going to show you the other 20-gallon in there so you can see how much room I have. So, if you like this stand and the measurements of it, then you can go ahead and build it. So, build it yourself. I think this might have been 27, but I'm not 100% sure. I think the tank is 13, so I think these are 13. This is 13. This is 13, 13. These are 5. If you want to go a little bit higher, you can go higher, obviously, up. But then you got to think about it. These have to go higher also. So, I mean, this is what I built it off of. So, all right, bear with me for a second as I get the 20 gallon in place. There's the 20 gallon place. Obviously, I put the paint side back, uh, not on purpose. But this is how much room you have. Like, you got probably two inches this way. You know, you got plenty of space right here, and you got some space right here. So I mean, you can run a siphon in here easy. I mean, unless you're concerned about this. Um, I might not use a glass top. I might use just a plexiglass over here and just put the sheet over it, and then from time to time just remove it out. So I have to clean. So. I'm trying to focus this. Hold on a second. I don't know why it's not doing it. But, I mean, it's probably two inches, three inches here. And then you got plenty of room to put a siphon in. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Questions, comments, um, subscribe if you like uh, aquarium stuff. I don't just do aquarium stuff. I do random things like uh, I build stuff. I do a lot of do-it-yourself, money-saving things. Um, I'm 22, you know. I have a lot of hobbies, so, you know, if you like what you see, go ahead. But here's what it would look like. Um, I'm not going to paint it because I'm going to use this stand as a motivation. Um, you know, like, everyone has a motivation to, like, do things. And it's like, if you see an unfinished stand, it's because I have a reason why. So, questions, comments, feel free. Um, check my, if you subscribe, I will do a video update of this stand working and, these tanks full of water, so, and some fish in them, hopefully. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Peace.